okay now this is a a uh, slightly different kind of a question and there was a lot of controversy in the language of the question many of the students said that uh, punched out lesions in the fundus are seen in and many of the students said that uh, it is seen in all except now based on the options i would say it should be seen in because none of the other things are showing you the punched out lesions well, because if you see this number one is the posterior stephyloma so posterior stephyloma will definitely posterior stephyloma will definitely not give you the punched out lesions what we uh, mean by posterior stephyloma it is actually the ectasia ectasia in the sclera so we are having the protruded appearance bunch of grape like appearance and where do you get this in cases of the high myopia in the cases of high myopia we get this so it's not a punched out lesion coloboma means there is a absence of tissue right so absence of tissue is also not the punched out lesion then we talk about the tuberous sclerosis tuberous sclerosis may again we are not getting any punched out lesion it's a neurocutaneous syndrome or the phacomatosis Therefore, the answer to this question will be the toxoplasmosis. Therefore, answer to the question. See, punched out lesions is basically a word which is used for the patch of chorioretinitis. This is used mainly for the chorioretinitis scar. So, whenever you get such kind of a question, please see where you are getting posterior uveitis, where you are getting the uh, chorioretinitis scar. According to that, you have to deal with this question. Um, here I have given you, this is a chart uh, which is from the standard textbook Kansky and Yanovs. So they have given you a list of the diseases where you can see similar kind of lesions which are called as a punched out lesions. So um, I think you can uh, remember only the names of it. Like we have got the presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome we will not go into the details because already it's a scope beyond but because once this question had come so if you want if you wish you can remember the names once is one is the pohs pohs means presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome okay second is a tuberculosis but obvious uh, we have tuberculosis also, we have sarcoidosis, we have syphilis, all the granulomatous diseases are coming with the pan we have sympathetic ophthalmia, syphilis, sarcoidosis and then there is a thing called as birdshot retinopathy, birdshot retinopathy. Then other, other names, we have got the MEWDS, this is called as the multiple evanescent white dot syndrome. Then we have MP, acute post multifocal plecoid pigment epitheliopathy. Now, even if you do not know the full forms, not a problem, but because I am showing you, it's my duty to give you the full names also, but don't take a burden to remember their, their names. We have lymphomas, we have pneumocystis, choroiditis, and the West Nile fever. So basically, even if you do not remember the second list, please remember this one. Please remember this one. Uh, we have got the tuberculosis, we have sarcoidosis, we have syphilis, sympathetic ophthalmia, birdshot retinopathy along with the toxoplasmosis. Most, most important causes of your punched out lesions, right? 